Hey you, what's up Kaotop? This is AutoWorks and welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the red button and the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future uploads. And now we're going to unbox and review this Marble Legends Venom Full Wave Ghost Spider. And for this figure, it also includes a build up figure of the body of Venom Full. And technically, Ghost Spider is a Gwen Stacy that was been venomized. So before we go ahead and review Ghost Spider, let's go ahead and take a look of the box first. And let me go ahead and grab the box first so we can take a closer look. So in the front of the box, we can, we have a huge window, and we can see Ghost Spider and the Villa figure. On the bottom, we can see Spider-Man Maximum Venom Ghost Spider. Okay, here's the top of the box and the lower on the side and on the other side. And here's the back of the box. So we, there's a description here. So if you want to read this, you can pause it right now. And here's the lower part of the box of the back. And that's it for the box. Let's now go ahead and unbox this figure. And here's now Ghost Fighter, and the only guys for this figure uh, doesn't have any other accessories. Sana man lang kahit alternate hands ay meron siya, but there's none. Uh, but it also includes uh, the build-up figure, Venom full body. So this body have a nice detail, and it also have the sword for the Venom full. So we're going to have a review this one soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and now grab Ghost Spider so we can go ahead and take a closer look for this figure. Okay, so let me go ahead and focus my camera first. So for this figure, uh, it's very simple. So we only have your very nice hood with the long tongue. And here's the back. We have a clean logo for this spider and let me go ahead and check some other details so for the hood yes it's very clean or there's some part na medyo uh kinapos ng kulay especially dun sa mga white parts or sa mga pink parts but overall very nice outfit for the hood and for the body it's so simple there's only uh, a navy blue i think navy blue to but for the tongue, it's very, very long. And let me go ahead and focus the camera. So, yes, it's very, very long for the tongue and very flexible. But this is not a wide tongue. And let's check if we can remove the hood from the head. So, I think we cannot remove the hood, so it's already glued to the head. Let me go ahead and uh, focus my camera first. Yeah, okay, so yes, mukhang nakadikit siya sa uh, ulo. Kaya hindi natin siya matatanggal. So, yun lang yung grabs dito. Kung gusto niyo tanggalin yung hood niya. But for the peg for this figure. So, yes. Very typical peg. And I think we can also remove the... Uh, what to call this jacket jacket what tawag dito or best but yeah let me go ahead and bring back the head okay so but for the details of this uh, other fig uh, figure let me check here so okay so yeah we have here some other colors white for some veins para sa arms and we also have sculpted details on the feet as well for some veins focus camera so we have here nice color for the feet but aside from that it's very simple and we also have here I think this is the teeth that also attach on the tongue I'm not sure if that is a teeth but that's attached to the tongue but other than that it's 
so simple so let's go ahead and now check the new articulation with ghost spider and for the articulation of this ghost spider to so for the head we cannot tilt up since meron siyang hood so there's no enough movement but he can tilt down up to this one and tilt side by side halos wala lang din since meron nga siyang hood na nag hinge sa shoulder but we can move it side by side okay and for the arms we can raise sideward up to this one and we can rotate 360 so we don't have a bicep swivel since this is a female body so wala tayong bicep swivel but we have here an elbow swivel so we can rotate this on 360 and we have single jointed elbow okay and we can rotate the hands and forward and back and for the body so let's remove this one first so for the body we can move it forward and backwards and we can also rotate side by side and for the feet we can split up to this one sorry let the focus camera so for the feet we can move this one and we have a tight swivel and we also have double jointed knee let me push that one okay and we also have boot rotation or calf rotation medyo matigas lang siya sa part na to let me try this one yes we have a boot rotation and we also have uh, or we can also forward and back feet and we have a rocker okay so that's the articulation for this ghost fighter let's now naman go ahead and do a size and comparison for this picture so for the size of ghost spider or Gwen so she's all uh, she's almost six inches tall and for the comparison for the other figures okay let me go ahead and stand this one first okay so let me go ahead and grab some other figures so we have here ultimate spider-man so they are, are almost same height and we also have here what we already reviewed is let me go and grab this one and carnage okay let me stand this first okay so as you can see uh since six almost six in or six inches see uh gwen see mas matangkat si carnage sa kanya but for ultimate spider they almost the same height because they are uh, both teenagers and let me go ahead and grab some other figures so we have here big time spider-man okay let me go ahead and uh, stand this one first so yes as you can see mas matangkad si big time spider-man sa dalawang to so that's a very nice size comparison okay so that's our size and comparison for this figure and there you have it mga ka -otap. that's our unboxing and review for this Marvel Legends Penful Wave Ghost Spider. So overall for the, uh, this figure is very simple, there's no other details aside from the hood and for the forearms and the feet and aside from that there's no other design. So napaka simple lang ng colors niya, very plain and for the articulation it's very typical for the female articulation so that's okay and for the accessories so we don't have any other accessories so for this figure i think okay siya para sa mga uh, i think 7 or 8 out of 10 for this figure so guys i think that's it so i hope you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe sa mga hindi ko subscribe sa channel ko just click the red button and the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga future uploads ko and again guys, thank you for watching, keep safe, 
and see you on my next video.